standing too long because your back never bothered you at all. Yeah. Um, awesome. Awesome. Defensive. And you're perfect chiropractic student. <laughs> nothing will aggravate you. So nothing makes it worse. Um, he doesn't really have low back pain. So he's more like a wellness patient. Um, have you ever had uh, x-rays of your spine at all? Mm. No. Any significant surgeries? You don't have to divulge in them. Okay. Uh, taking any medications? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's like, I'm not sure why I don't get this patient to come to my office, because I would be like, hallelujah. <laughs> so you probably experience the same thing I do when I go to the doctor and they ask me, like, okay, go ahead and yeah. tell me your surgery. So I'm like, I haven't had it. They look at me like I'm crazy because I haven't had a surgery. Like, why is that the norm? Like, it's, it's amazing to me. Um, and when I tell them that I'll take medication, I don't have any. Like none, they always look at me, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure, I don't take any medication. You know, So it's really odd, our, our culture is like, everyone should be on a medication if you're 50 years old or 60 or whatever. So, um, but anyway, so. We've, uh, we've already, uh, we've done our quick history and of our patient, um, and um, you know, we've already run through. We know he has a positive Deerfield short leg on the left. He has, um, SI fluid motion, you know he's a little bit stuck on this left side as opposed to the right side. Uh, his knee razor indicated that he has a PI ilium on the left. So honestly, that's what I'm going to adjust on him. So when we adjust, we always want to start at the base the best we can and work our way up. Okay? Some chiropractors, their flow is to start here and work their way down. However you want to do it, kind of stick with your, the way you're doing things. We are going to teach you here is to deal with the foundation first. The foundation's off, there may be compensatory issues here, and there might be issues here. Okay? So drop your arms to the side. Um, what I'm going to do is I feel for PSISs, do a quick little assessment. I do feel that left side is fixated. So, Gary, okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you lie with your left side up facing you over this way. So I prefer diversify. Now, Gary's never been adjusted before, so I may have a patient like him who's never been adjusted before. I'm gonna explain everything that I do with him. Uh, my first experience in uh, getting adjusted, nothing was explained to me, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'd never do that to a patient. Because the, I was seated, and the next thing I knew, my head was back <laughs> over here. <laughs> what just happened there, you know? So always explain to your patient. This should be a comfortable position for them. When they're on their side with the knees bent up, it's, it should be okay for them. Um, I want you to slide towards me a little bit. So, I know that the hip is posterior inferior, so all I'm going to do is bring it in the opposite direction, from P to A, I to S, to bring it back up where it needs to be. My segmental contact point is going to be the PSIS. My contact point is going to be my um, Kaiser form. So, I'm going to bring his knee up, kind of lock out uh, that joint. I'm going to roll him towards me. Watch how I use my arm and my leg simultaneously. And I'm going to give a light little thrust. Okay? I didn't really have to do a whole lot because that kind of just moved on its own. Did you kind of feel it just slide in place? So I rolled him towards me using my leg and arm and gave a quick thrust. Remember, he's never been adjusted before. If this might be uh, week three of his treatment, you might see me give it a little bit more of a thrust, just because it'll hold that position a lot. I think it'll hold the position a lot better. But because it's first visit, we want to go as gently and easily as possible. Now I'm going to have you lie face down. I want to make sure that the muscles are nice and balanced. I want to stretch them out a little bit, so I may do a little bit of manual traction. Just above the pelvis is L5. I feel for spinous process. I'm right on the musculature. I may want to just press, just to kind of relax those muscles down a little bit. I want this adjustment to hold, even though it didn't seem like a whole lot. It's a relatively large bone. We shifted it in place. We're shifting muscles around. I don't want him sore later on. And I'm going to go ahead and do my Mopal real gently up the spine. I'm kind of jealous of Gary's spine, actually. It moves real well. Maybe a little bit of tightness here. 
take a deep breath in for me. Blow it all the way out. And I'm going to follow him down and give him a little push. I always tell the patient it's going to be very gentle, so just try to relax with it. If something moves, great. If it doesn't, my, the best advice I was given, if something is meant to move, it'll move. So don't try to force things when the patient's not ready for it. The upper part here, pretty tight over here. This side feels okay. Do a little motel. I may think that this T2 spinous process is rotated to the left, creating a high transverse process on the right. So it feels pretty tight over here. So I'm going to basically contact ITP and push down. Okay. You come around this side. Next quarter, you will learn modified diversified pisiforms. So my pisiform is going to be on that transverse process. Stabilize, rotate head towards me. And I want you just to relax the shoulder. I'm just going to get your tension here and then relax. Gary already felt the bone move, so we know we are in the right place. Give it a push. There's always an intention behind your adjustment. If it moves on setup, that's not an adjustment. You have to give a little push. You know you're in the right place, then you're going to get that little extra thrust. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's have you uh, lie face up. I prefer supine diversify. Uh, so this is how I end with my patient. Okay? Semi side up. <laughs> Start in the lower part of the neck and work my way up. I can push side to side on the lamina. Again, I'm jealous of his spine. Uh, good genetics here. I do feel a little tightness on the side. I do feel a little bit of restriction. So I might think, I might infer that the spinous process is left and I'm feeling this body on the right. Muscles are tight over here to try to pull that spine back. So I'm just going to facilitate it. I'm going to help it along. Patients are very apprehensive about this adjustment. We've seen movies, you know. And, uh, but um, I'm going to get a nice tissue pull and turn your head to the left. And I'm going to assure my patient, I just want you to relax your head in my hand. All I'm going to do is get your attention and give a little push. So nothing major. <laughs> Stretch out. I want that adjustment to hold. Good. Now, I want to do a post leg check. I want to see if I've affected anything today. So, uh, I'm going to help my patient up. Let's go sit up. Let's have you stand. I want you to uh, get weight bearing. And then let's go right back. Come to the end of the table. Put your knees up on the table. Let yourself down. Push out. Relax. Nice and balanced. More balanced than he was when he started. Amazing. I can come up here, motel a little bit, make sure everything's moving well. Remember, my thumbs were a little off initially. They look much more balanced now. I'm happy today. So that was a successful adjustment. So